So today I have uh, something in mind for you. Uh, is a, a subject that is considered to be a hard subject. White flowers. Any of the flowers, it doesn't matter. The white seems to be a subject that's real tough. So I'll, today I'll challenge you with white poppies. So let's get right into the, our, our uh, painting here. The canvas has already been prepared with magic white. So I won't go into the details only, but the fact that it is put on very thin. You gotta keep it thin in order to do this wet on wet technique. So let, let me kinda introduce you to my palette so you'll know what I got here. I've got white, phthalo blue, yellow ochre, and Van Dyke brown. That's all is required to do this particular type painting. So without further delay, let's get in on it and get on it. I'll make a very rough sketch with Van Dyke brown and white. Just, just an outline of the flower. So we'll do, uh, let's try doing like five flowers. Maybe have the stems coming down here. You don't have to get re de real detailed in this type of a painting. Just get the, the outline down and then go for it. Okay, let's, let's start right at the base of the flower. Go right into your white. And a little touch of the Van Dyke Brown. This is kind of a study on value, really, because you gotta, you gotta get the right value in order to show the light, so. And in order to keep the white also, so. So really what you got here is kind of a gray color. I've got a, uh, a bristle brush here. I might kind of show it to you right now. It's just a simple bristle brush and it's uh, kind of ideal for doing flowers, floral, any of the florals. So you just using them two colors, you're kind of getting a gray, a gray background. This is just the background of the flower. We'll just carry on up with the same idea. After we get the background in, we'll we'll put in some darker for the center to kind of give you a little bit of depth in the flower. What I try to do is uh, try to keep a... Uh, the f I generally try to make the flowers on the bottom a little darker. It gives a little more balance. So what I'll do is I'll just I'll go back in here now on the bottom flower with a little more Van Dyke brown and put the center in. Start right in the center, put the dark in, then blend it out. Blend it out towards the edge. Same way on the other one. Put the center in and then blend it out to the edge. This bottom one, we could have it just a little bit darker. Like that. This one would be the same way. This area here would be down in the bottom, so let's go a little darker down in there. These up here will be kind of buds, and so it'll be kind of simple. Maybe a little outline here like that. Now basically, that's all you need to get started on this for the floral itself. So now let's, let's go right into the background. What we'll do is go use the same color that we add here, add a little touch of phthalo blue, and mix it right in there. Come right underneath the flower. In order to show these light flowers, you've got to have some dark. So what we'll do is bring the dark around the flowers. As we come out, we'll make the, the edge outside of the painting more lighter. So get your darks around the flowers to begin with. A 
Every artist that I know has made a shot at doing florals. And I found out over the years that the wet on wet technique is absolutely the only way to do it. Now there, there's another method. You can, you can use a big brush. You can put this on with a big brush. Matter of fact is I'll, I'll show you that you don't have to necessarily use this particular brush. So that you're really not limited to what you can do. Say mom's got a good meal cooked and you want something, you gotta get rid of this paint and get it out. Grab a bigger brush. Go right into your white. Into your same color. A little touch of blue. That shows how versatile you can be with this particular technique. Also, you want to keep make sure that you show that dark around the flowers. In order to show them In order to show that In order to show that dark the white outline, you got to have dark. So let's put a little more dark right in here. After we get this on, we'll take your we'll take the bigger brush and kind of soften the whole thing. If you notice here what I'm doing, I'm I'm using a cross kind of a cross hatch type stroke. In other words, I'm doing kind of an X, you might say. Would be a better description of it. Back in, get some more. That really makes a pleasing gray. Phthalo blue, Van Dyke brown, and white. Now as we go up here, we're gonna kinda get it, we're gonna concentrate on getting the, uh, the background, on the upper background, a lot more whiter. So, we're gonna, we're gonna go right into the magic white. We're gonna go use the same brush into the magic white and pull it out and go into the same mixture. Get a little bit looser and a lot more white. Still using the cross hatch type stroke. Then again, like I said, use more white up in the top. I like to point out another thing. See this area right up in here? If I if I want to bring this into a lighter area, get your white on your brush and go above the area. Put the white in first, okay? Then come down into the blue with cross hatch motions and strike it like that. Same way again. Up above the blue, down into the into the darker color. This is strictly all background work right now. We're going to get into the finer details here just in a minute. Okay, once once you've got that all on, take your take your big brush and let's kind of soften the whole thing. Starting at the light area, same way. Notice what I'm doing here. I'm using a cross hatch type motion, stroke. Soften, soften, soften. In essence there, what you're doing is you're removing the paint, the excess paint, and also, it's, it's a two-fold thing, you're softening it also at the same time. Get it nice and soft. We can refer that refer to that as hypnotizing. Now let me pull out another brush. I have here a red sable brush. 
we will do all the leaves with this particular brush. Now we're going to introduce yellow ochre to the thing. Okay, let's go right into the yellow ochre. Little touch of phthalo blue. Now we're kind of looking for a pastel type painting. So keep, we'll keep it down, toned down. So don't make any strong colors. I may add just a little touch of white to that. Okay, here it goes. Now let's, let's do the stems first. Here we go. Did you follow that? Go right up here and let's do another one. I'll do it kind of slow so you can see what I'm doing. Go hold it straight in push and release like that. If you do it fast like this and release, notice, notice the cut off edge. It looks like it's been cut all in one stroke. How can you beat it? All right, let's do it. Let's, let's do a few leaves now. By using the upper corner of the brush, you can make a fine sharp line like that. I'm going to do a few leaves here for you. And I, I want to kind of go through it slow for you, so you kind of know what's what's happening. I'll start at the point of this particular stem and make a leaf. Notice the overlapping strokes. I'm doing this kind of slow so you can get the idea right off. Come back on the other side and follow through with it. Come back up over like that and you have an automatic leaf. Then come over and do the same thing. Come back up. If you're not happy with the middle, come back over. Same way over here. Overlapping strokes. And come back down like that. In, in painting florals, there's, there's a balance that you've got to work with. Everything is flowing out of here. Consequently, all the strokes flow back down towards this area. In other words, if you, were, if you were grabbing a bouquet of flowers in your hand, all the petals and all the leaves and everything would be originated from that source. So think about that when you do all the strokes. Let's make a leaf here on edge, tipped on edge. You could leave it like that. It would still look tipped. If you want it in the shadow, come back in and with a little darker color. Add a little phthalo blue and a little touch of uh, Van Dyke brown. But let's put this in, in shadow to show you, show you how. See how that leaf is tipped? This leaf here, let's have it little, looking at you a little bit more. Fill them a little more filler in there. Here's, some, here's the source. Let's go out just like that. Just make it flow out. Another one over here. Same way. It's coming from the source. Very, very important in creating florals. Don't worry about the floor or the flower itself there because you can paint over top of it. It gives you the dimension. A different type of leaf, one stroke leaf. Very simple. Maybe a few right up in here. Now on your edge of, the, of your painting, maybe you want to create a, maybe a few darker colors. I add just a little touch more of, of the phthalo blue to it. It's the same existing color that we're using before. Give you a little more depth in your painting. Okay, let's go right up here on this area right up here. Do a few bigger leaves.
Maybe one bent over here, a couple of smaller ones. Time permitting, maybe we'll probably add a few more leaves after we do the flower itself. Another thing you can do is once that you have your brush filled, just keep painting leaves in the background. Let it pollute with your background and your magic white. And don't stop, just keep doing them. What you're doing there is creating depth in your painting. A lot of people don't, a lot of the artists not aware of what, what really is happening there. Okay, we, on the background we used a, uh, a larger brush. We use the same brush but a smaller one. Same, it's a bristle brush. We'll go, let me, let me show you here. We've got the plain white right out of the tube. We're using stiff, thick paint in the florals, especially on the top. We want to add, we, want, we need a thin, little thinner paint. So we can, we can use magic white, dip right in the magic white with your brush and come right up into your, into your base white here that you've already put out of the tube and make it a little bit thinner. Okay, now this is a keystroke. The particular stroke that I'm going to do right now is a keystroke. This is where everybody falls apart doing poppies. Go straight in. I'm going straight in at the canvas. Push it in. A lot of pressure. Release as you come up. A lot of people think you've got to twist your, twist your wrist like this and all that. It's all the classes that I've been teaching. They all think you've got to do this and this. You don't. If you watch closely again, I'll go right over that same stroke slowly for you and release. It's so simple, okay? Now we'll just carry on with the normal speed, just overlapping strokes. Also, I'd like to show you right at this time how to load a brush for florals. You've got to use a figure eight motion. You've got to load both sides of the brush. Can you see that? Both sides of the brush have to be loaded. And it has to be loaded smooth. It can't be gobbed up and, you know, a lot of excessive paint on the, on the brush. Let's go back over on this side and do the same thing. Overlapping strokes. Now you kind of got the basic stroke down. We'll paint a little more to speed. You notice how that green come through there? Very desirable effect, very desirable. It gives a transparent look. That's the purpose of putting on the leaves to begin with. This area down in here, let's, let's, add, let's create a little more shadow area. Little touch of Van Dyke Brown into the white. Little touch of the Van Dyke Brown. More white. Come back up here. Overlapping strokes. Come out on the edge. There again, went over the green. Nothing wrong with that. If you wanted, if you wanted some petals in the background over here, put them right over top of the leaves. or whatever's back there. Don't worry about it because the next flower will take care of itself. And think about balance. This flower right here, it needs something over top of this green. Go right over top of it. See, you can, it, you can actually see through that petal. Let's go right up here and do the next one. Remember, we thinned the thick paint with magic white. There's kind of a sequence here involved. Start at one side, go back over on the other side. Then do the middle, the middle petal next. I also want to point out something very, very, very important to you. Notice, notice every stroke here. The source of this painting, like I mentioned before, is down here. The source of this flower is at this point right here. All the strokes go to that point. Even when I put this particular petal on, 
See how I'm pulling right down towards that? That's, a, that's where they're attached on. So you gotta make sure that you make all the strokes go that direction. If you pull one off to the side, you've lost it. There again, towards the center. If you gotta make imaginary point there, that's fine. Maybe a few outside pedals. Out here. Let's go up here and do this one. Again, on the outside, pull it down. I've already got the dark on, see, so I can actually go right into the pure white. That's, that's that really what I'm doing. It's pretty much pure white. Go, start from there, go to the center on the, on the back side pedal. Come back over on the other side and pull it down and meet the other half. Go to the darker side and put this edge in. Put the outside pedals on. With instruction like this, how can you miss? Everybody's attempted a floral or two, and everybody's failed at a floral or two. So let's, let's do our buds here. Starting like that. Maybe a few, kind of keep them simple up here. We don't want a lot of the tension up here. Keep them simple, overlapping strokes. You notice how it blends automatically as you go back. Your brush becomes more polluted in the, in the magic white and the existing color that your background uh, color for the floral. Now at this time, I'm gonna, I'll dip into the magic white again. You've seen me do it before. I'll make it a little bit lighter and a little bit thinner. I'll put a few highlights on in a few spots. Come back down here on this main flower. Now you notice there what I did. Pushing effect and releasing some of the paint on the outside edge. It makes it kind of fluffy and, and it has a flare look. Just in a few spots, you don't have to do the whole thing. Okay, let's let's go for, we've got to do some centers now. We'll go back to our leaf brush, the one that we use to make all the leaves. Back into the Van Dyke Brown, a little Prussian blue, and, and that leaf color that we had before. Use a semi-circle like that. Maybe the one in there, and one in there. I got a liner brush here. Go right into your thinner. Thin the, thin the paint down. I'm, I'm using the, the paint thinner, going to the same color. Thin it down like that. I will, we'll, we'll use this to make this, use this to make the stamen. Push it in and release, push pressure at the end. You notice how the little deals I'm putting on the end there? All in one stroke. Simple, 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 simple. Go back and get some more. Same way on this one. Another thing you might notice, I've used uh, an odd number. I've used five fl flowers here. That's kind of important in balance as far as good composition is concerned. Right now I'm cleaning, I'm cleaning the red sable brush. I've got a lot of medium, a lot of the thinner on it. Go right into your white, make it nice and thin. Keep it fairly white. We got a, we'll use a little touch of yellow ochre in it. Keep it nice and thin and juicy. Use the corner of the brush and jab the, the pollen on there. Same way again. A few more there. Now let's do it. We're going to do a few cover leaves on top of this. Yellow ochre, phthalo blue, a little touch of Van Dyke brown. 
little a little darker leaves go right on top of the flower. This is a two-stroke type leaf. Notice I just twist and pull like that. Keep it pulling like that. Go up a little higher. Just keep it doing like that. You just can't miss. Let it just bleed into the background. Create some interesting effects. Let me show you another type of leaf here. Get in close on this one. You put the corner of the brush in, pull it, push it, pressure, twist it like that. Same way. If you want to start on the outside edge, do the same thing. Maybe a few there. So what do you say? I think that we have completed this lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. And from now on, bring some white flowers tomorrow. Thank you and happy May.